What's up, people? How you doing? This is Coach DC of the Intense Fit Way. How's everyone doing today? I'm sitting out here in the um, line waiting on my little girl to get out of school today. But I was thinking, you know, I'm always thinking. I made a post last night that says that um, the feet of the mind are our thoughts and feelings. The feet of the mind are our thoughts and feelings. And when I made that post, I had to think about it for a little bit. And I was like, okay, so what do thought and feeling do? Thought and feeling turn into emotion or what we call energy in motion, which is, you know, our feeling, etc. You can usually feel it in your chest first and then it, it makes its way around. Um, and then that emotion, whatever we choose it to be at the time and moment, whether it's joy, happiness, sadness, anger, however we decide to express it, <clears throat> We'll come back to us. We'll come back to us. So emotional intelligence is basically understanding your emotions. The how, the why, and expressing them in a way that other people can understand. And yes, at this time and moment, we have a problem with that because um, we are emotionally inept. A lot of people want to blame it on... Um, the whole scandemic and that whole thing, but I think we've been getting to this point for a while. I think we've been um, emotionally in that for a while. We've just been working and making money and and um, gathering materials and such and such, but we haven't worked on our relationship building. We haven't worked on the integration of the characteristics that build on relationships. Compassion, empathy, love, kindness, patience, etc. So since we've cultivated none of these things into the characters that we now call ourselves, yet we're out here looking for relationships when we don't know how to relate or haven't become relatable. I can understand how everybody now goes back to emotional intelligence. But let me tell you what. Emotional intelligence is about integration, the integration of the characteristics of love, compassion, and empathy, patience, kindness, etc., etc. That's what um, old boy Jesus was trying to explain in that their book called the Bible. Nobody got it, of course, but you know, we keep going back and forth, doing the same things, making the same destruction. Because we're not emotionally intelligent and halfway not aware most of the time. We don't pay attention. Do you pay attention when you are washing the dishes? Or do you pay attention when you are picking things up off the floor? Do you pay attention when you're walking, talking? Do you understand the message you're trying to get across before you speak? Do you exercise your mind, your body, and your breath every day to make sure that they are squared away and in good shape for the chaos and trials and tribulation that we call life? No? And you're not emotionally intelligent. And let me tell you what makes you emotionally intelligent. Emotional intelligence is shown by one thing. Emotional intelligence is shown and by one major thing to me, which means you control your responses to life and life situations. Life doesn't control you. Life doesn't give you an attitude. Life doesn't do this. Life doesn't do this. You control you regardless of the environment you're in because in this you've decided <clears throat> I'm going to be me I'm going to be kind I'm going to be generous I am going to be all of these things that I create anyway and that's what I call people that are emotionally intelligent when they can use their emotions to create build relationships and to foster them cultivate them and keep them going Besides that, most of us are emotionally inept and egotistical assholes that um, always want to be right. It just is what it is, and we are what we are. The question is, what are we going to do about it? This is Coach. I'm working on it every single day in my way, hoping you do the same. Peace.